Hi there, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to uh, make your form take up the entire screen um, and also then center the controls on the form or at least the controls that uh, include what the the problem being generated is uh, as well as the text box where the user is going to enter their answer and um, the label that ha displays the time so that no matter what uh, computer your programs running on those uh, items will always be centered and the form will always take up the full screen alright so if I run my program now it is um, only takes up this much of the screen uh, it doesn't take up the entire screen and yes I can maximize it uh, the window but notice that the uh, problem the timer and the text box are not going to be centered when you maximize the um, form so uh, we can remedy that by adding a few lines of code in the load event um, of the event or of, the, of our program and but before I do that I'm gonna make a few variables one's gonna be called screen width and one is going to be called screen height. Alright, now down in the load event for the game, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say screen width equals screen dot primary screen dot bounds dot width. And then I'm going to say screen height equals screen dot primary screen dot bounds dot height alright so what does that do that takes um, uh, figures out what the pixel dimensions of the screen are and assigns those to those two variables and when I say the dimensions of the screen I mean the actual monitor that the program is running on so uh, for example on your monitors there uh, that you're using at school in my classroom uh, those dimensions are 1280 by 1024 alright so then after that I'm going to make the form take up the whole screen and actually have dimensions that are the exact same as the dimensions of the monitor so I'm gonna say this dot width equals screen width so that assigns makes the size of the form be the same width as the monitor in pixels and then I'm going to say this dot height equals screen height and then lastly I'm going to maximize the form uh, so that it's in its maximize state uh, as soon as the game starts so I'm gonna say this dot window state equals form window state dot maximized alright so now when I run the program um, I'm gonna have a nice maximize screen from the very beginning um, unfortunately my label and text box still aren't centered yet but I'm gonna take care of that now and my strategy for taking care of that is to instead of specifying a specific pixel location for the form as far as a number I'm going to specify a uh, pixel location relative to the center of the screen uh, horizontally and then the center of the screen vertically so I want my um, problem to be centered both vertically and horizontally to be in the dead middle of the screen so I'm going to say this LBL problem dot left so this is where the left edge of the screen is going to be of the label is going to be and then that's going to be equal to screen width divided by 2 minus and then LBL problem dot width divided by 2 okay so um, basically let's say that my problem label is uh, 500 pixels and the screen width is 1280 pixels 
Well, basically, I want 250 pixels of the problem to be to the left of the center and 250 to the right. So if I do screen width divided by 2, that would give me the very middle line of um, the screen. And then I subtract out half the width of the problem. That should put it center of the entire problem on the screen. So now let me also do uh, lblproblem.top, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to say screen height uh, divided by 2 minus LBL problem dot height divided by 2. All right, so now let me run it and see what I have. Okay, so now I have a nicely centered problem, but the text box, unfortunately, is um, not fixed yet. So, in fact, it's uh, over the, the uh, problem label. So I'm going to do uh, the same thing for the text box, except uh, the text box, I'm going to set its left property. It's going to also be screen width divided by 2 minus LBL, no, minus TXT. And that's not text box, it's text user answer, I think. Uh, okay, so that centers it left and right, and I also need to do that for the button, the enter button. And I see this should be width. Um, all right, so now, um, now as far as the top of the text box and the top of um, the enter button, I'm going to just set them both to being um, the basically uh, the top of the problem label plus maybe another. 300 pixels. So I'm going to say, okay, text user answer dot top equals LBL problem dot top plus 350. And then BTN enter dot top equals LBL problem dot top plus uh, 350. Now let me run it. All right, there. Now I have a nicely centered uh, uh, problem, um, a text box that appears below it, and also um, um, when if I run the computer the program on a different computer uh, it's also going to appear uh, centered no matter what size of screen I'm running it on all right and then one last thing I think I'm going to also center the timer the label that displays the time so I'm gonna say label timer dot text or no dot left equals screen width divided by two minus label timer dot width. All right, so now let's give it a shot. There, now I have uh, everything is nicely centered. Uh, if I run this the game on a uh, different size computer, I'm still going to have something that's nicely centered.